Hey ladies, this is Sandra aka Bunny with Skates and this is going to be a video on my review on the mascaras that I have had experience with and just to let you know this video is going to be a couple of minutes long and also uh, it could be different to you guys if you have different types of eyelashes than I do. Mine are just flat out straight, no curl, very difficult to keep up, okay? Um, some of these mascaras wor would work great on ladies that have long lashes for more extension and just darker look, classic look. So it could go either or, but uh, I'm gonna base my review on how they've worked on me, on my lashes, and uh, on the brush, on the consistency of the product, and long wear and things that I just um, that I've just experienced with each one of these mascaras okay and so if this works for you let me know because it's very it gets a little bit um, hectic to go and look for a good mascara you spend all this couple of dollars and then it doesn't work for you and you just kind of just want to like toss it and whatever um, I've kept all of mine just to make sure that I can give up, you know, have further uh, experience on each one of them and just be able to distinguish each one from another. And so I found really good mascaras and so I wanted to share it with you guys. So I'm going to go from the best to kind of the worst. And by the worst, I mean it doesn't stay on. It doesn't um, give you any curl, no volume, no color. I mean, it, look, it can look dark when you put it on, but you look in later in the day and your eyelashes look the same. And the best, I, what I mean by the best mascara is that it gives you curl, it gives you uh, volume, it stays on for more than eight hours, and uh, it doesn't wash out with your uh, tears or with just water you gotta actually take it off wipe it out with cream or baby oil okay so I'm gonna start with the fabulous essence multi action false lashes mascara and this one I found it at uh, HEB which is a grocery store here almost like Walmart but just smaller and different type of, of, of makeup than Walmart and so this one, I would give it a flat out 10. I like the brush. I've mentioned this um, mascara in other videos. And it gives you curl. It gives you color. It, I mean, your, your lashes look darker. And it stays on for more than eight hours. And it does gives you like, give you like the false lash effect. So I recommend this. This is a 10 from all of my mascaras that I'm about to show you. And then Essence also has this mascara. It says Essence stays on and on and on. <laughs> it says ultra resist and easy to remove volume mascara. Now this mascara is really good for day use. I would, uh, if you work like an eight to five kind of job, this is the, I think this is the best mascara for you because it doesn't need, um, you don't need to wipe it out hard like, I like this one because it, you actually need to put some lotion or baby oil on your lashes, which is which I think it's good because that means that it stays as long as you want it. But this one, you can wipe it out if you come from work and you're tired and you just want a mascara that's going to give you volume and curl. This is it. I think this was the best one for you. Um, it, it removes easily. And so... It, it just, it, what it says on the package is what it actually does, does. And so I feel like Essence is doing pretty good with their mascaras. Then the next uh, mascara that I love is the Mag Zoom Fast Lash Mascara. And the reason that I like this one is because with all of the, the different um, eyeshadows that you wear, it just makes any color of your eyeshadows just pop. Um, of course, it, ha it also has to do with what kind of primer you use, um, makeup, and all of that good stuff. But it just, I don't know, it, this just reminds me of when you do like a drawing and you just outline it with the black and it makes your colors look better and brighter or, you know, 
pop out if you do and like if you do a painting that has black and it has purple you put the line in the middle and you you right away know if it's black or purple that kind of thing so mac zoom fast lash i love this it's perfect for your for when you do family pictures or close-ups i recommend this one let me go ahead before i move on let me give you go ahead and give you the the show you the brushes of each one this is for the essence the second one uh the stays on and stays on this brush it has like a little curve in the middle so when you're putting it on it it actually lifts your eyelashes and then the mac this is the mac one it's straight but i curved it a little i kind of did this number but it's pretty thin at the end and then then it goes a little bit uh thicker towards the inside of the of the lash thingy so it's really nice to to use uh, and the the brush is pretty separated it's not very close so that it makes as you build in your eyelashes it makes them look it, they open it opens up your eyelashes and then it gives you that color you need then this one is um a mascara that my friend uh devon gave to me it's the mally volumizing mascara and now this one is really good i never heard about this i just tried it and i looked it up the brush is all thick from the beginning towards the end and it gives you a lot of volume and it gives you a lot of uh, uh it just makes your eyelashes longer so it gives you a lot of length and this one i liked it a bunch more than than the other ones just because this one it's it's gonna stay but if you come and you just get like those makeup wipes and you take it off it'll come like completely off and i'm using the elf um face wipes and i mean that could that could do it could be that the wipes are just that good but this one it, what i mean by this mascara is that you don't have to like come back and take off all the dark uh, lower lid area you know when you have to come back and wipe out the dark this one doesn't do that so I recommend this also and I'll give this one a 9 compared to the essence and the blue essence I give it a 9 and the MAC I give it a 9 now this other mascara is from number 7 and it's a line that I've only found that Target uh, this one I give it an eight, and this one has really good quality. The consistency is really good. The pigmentation is really good, and uh, on, the only reason that I'm giving it a nine and nine, not a ten is because the brush is is very unique. But at the same time, you gotta work with it, and uh, so this is what I mean. This is called the Extravagant Lashes Mascara. And this brush, I've never seen anything like this before. It's like a box. I don't know if you could tell. It's like a box, so you gotta, it's like if you were to get a small box and you're like turning your eyelashes with a little box kind of thing. Now, the cool thing that I like about it is that it, ha it carries a lot of product in there. The product is really good. It stays on. It it doesn't give you that much of a curl but it is dark and they and as you build it it gives it a little bit of length so I would give this one a nine because it stays on it gives you a little bit of length and the brush is just it's very unique and it's very flexible it's not like a hard thing that you're gonna like you know be working at it no it's gonna go with your with the flow that you're doing your lashes so it's flexible and it's soft and this is like i said it's a number seven extravagant lashes and i found it at target now this next mascara is there's there are three mascaras that i'm going to give an eight to and the next one is the l'oreal mascara now this one I give an 8 to because 
it get the brush is very good it starts out thick it goes thin and then just you know just medium length to the inside and it always has to do with the brush also because if you don't, if you don't have practice you know on your lashes if you don't if you don't have practice on how to build up or if you don't know that you know with the tip of the of the brush you can actually work the length on the outside of your lashes then um you you might not be you you might not find all of the brushes useful if you know what i mean but this one i give it a seven no i give it an eight yeah an eight because it it does stay for a long time it gives you curl it gives you length it gives you color only that after about five hours it'll start flaking that's what i found with this and so i mean it is still good it, it stays on but it just I, I guess because it just depends on what kind of weather you live what kind of state here in texas it's really hot and so i think that has to do with with the just the, the kind of climate that i live in but it works really good and i like it a lot so this is i give it an, an eight then the next mascara that i like it's a colossal Volume Express Mascara from Maybelline. Excellent mascara. It, the bristles are very close together. They're, they're very brushy. Uh, it, you just know that, for example, if you... What reminds me of this this brush is for when you, you straighten out your hair. If you use a brush that is tighter, you know that it's going to stay... Uh, or that it's going to get flatter easier and this is what i feel with this mascara um you got to build up you do because it doesn't it, like the brush is so close together but it doesn't hold a lot of product you kind of gotta go in there and you take it out and uh so once you start building up it'll give you that length only i i, I think that if it doesn't stay for a long time then it doesn't work for me because I mean I can put a lot but then it's gonna look like the spider kind of leg kind of look and so this one it gives me that length it gives me that curl but then like after four or five hours it starts coming down and then my I, my eyelashes look like if I have spider legs <laughs> so um, I almost used all of it up anyway I liked it even though it came up pretty quick uh, I kind of had it in my purse and was building up again in the store wherever I was. But this one I give it an 8. Then I have, this one also is the Glam's, Glam Eyes Lash Flirt Volume and Lift to Mascara from Rimmel. And this one is really true to, to what the package says. It stays on for a long time. It gives you the length and the curl that you need. Only I am not very uh this kind of brush i'm not very savvy on how to use it so that could be the reason that i'm giving this one an eight but the product is very good the brush is just thin and then it's long uh it, it almost looks like if you have a mohawk and then air i mean hair going out of your ears kind of thing so even though it works good and it stays on, it's just a brush, the reason that I give it an 8. But otherwise, it's very good. And if you are brush savvy, then I recommend it. Um, I still use the product with other brushes when, when I want to use this type of mascara. And uh, it doesn't flake or anything, so it works pretty good. Like I said, only if you want to use another brush, then it's up to you. Then the Telescopic Carbon Black L'Oreal Mascara. This is the mascara that I like for using it during the day. Like when I go to my mother-in-law's house or, you know, when I'm taking her to the doctor or something. Uh, it's just a very classic, it gives you a classic, long, dark look. The brush, I'm not a big fan of the brush either. But it just kind of like... It does, it does give you the product, it carries enough product for you to do, for it to do the job. So, um, I recommend that I give it an 8, 
the product is very good it stays on it gives you that long look it you know it's just like the lashes that you close and open your eyes and you could tell that you're wearing or it, it almost looks like you're wearing false eyelashes with this clear mascara so I give this mascara an 8 now the next three mascaras I give it is I give these a 7 and the first one that I'm going to review for number 7 is the hard candy uh, curl up and die lash curly mascara and this is a really good mascara it has a very different type of package which is I think pretty cool um, only if it doesn't it doesn't make my lashes stay up like I would like it the brush is very cool it's kind of it gives it like a curve there uh, it, the bristles are like in a they go like in a whirl kind of pattern and it picks up your eyelashes really good only like I said it doesn't it, the product doesn't make my lashes curl and stay curled as much as the essence so it even though it's a pretty cool mascara I mean I'm still using it anyway I use all of these mascaras I might just change like the brushes but um, just compared comparing it to the other ones I would give it a seven um, I recommend it to the girls that have the long lashes um, that might need a little bit of curl I think this would work great on you so this is the hard candy curl up and dye lash curling and this one you can find it at a Walmart then my other number seven is going to be the Rimmel waterproof sexy curves full volume and curve mascara now I love the brush on this only it's kind of watery that's the only reason I'm giving it a seven it's kind of watery it makes your eyelashes really dark they can curl and and stuff but I think it's because of the consistency that being it being too watery it almost looks like you didn't put any mascara on after maybe like an hour so this one um, it's it's pretty cool but like I said not to my eyelashes I think this one would work good on someone that has really short eyelashes and just a little bit of curl you know what I mean it's just like this one would just like help it help them look darker and just you know but I would give it a seven so sexy curves full volume and curve mascara a seven then my other number seven is going to have to be the falsest volume express okay I heard a lot of buzz about this mascara and you know I think because the at first I was thinking positive I had seen all these ladies on YouTube giving a great review on this one it didn't work for me at all because my eyes are a bit drier so I don't know if it has to do with that and also the climate but after about five six hours I would see all kinds of flakes here uh, it just I mean you could tell that I was that my mascara was falling apart like literally because I could see all of the flakes around my eyes and so it I mean also inside of my eye and it kind of like I had a uh, particle size kind of uh, of mascara in my eye and it kind of just dissolved but it's still not I don't think that's safe for my eyes I don't know I think that it just uh, it, it needs better consistency it's not that uh, mild it's just a little bit watery in between mild and watery kind of consistency so it works but I'll still give it a seven then another number seven is also from essence no limits volume mascara waterproof um, and this one I, I because it's essence I thought that it would work and it was obviously I bought this one I tried this one before the other two but the brush is pretty medium uh, and it, it the bristles are really close but what happened with this one is that also the consistency was pretty watery and so it wasn't it didn't give me the length or the curl that I needed uh, it kind of did what the, the telescopic did only this one it just it seemed that it came off even though it says waterproof this one just came off like my eyes got watery and you know I started getting 
black around my eyes. So, uh, I don't know if it was a bad batch where this one was made from. Uh, I mean, Essence is really good, so I guess I'll just, you know, put it away and see if the consistency changes or anything. And, of course, I'll let you guys know. So, this is going to be a number seven. Then, these last two, I'm going to give a number six because this is the Elmay Pure Blends. Uh, natural and this is the hard candy volumizing mascara now these two I give a number six only because they don't give any curl no volume the brush is awesome I mean I've seen uh, girls that have reviewed this one and it, it works for them only I noticed that they have had longer lashes than me and so this one didn't work for me um, I know there's a really good one, the Heart Candy, the one that has like fibers that make them look naturally, uh, natural. I haven't tried that one. I bought it for Devon because she has pretty long lashes. So um, I'll see how it went with her and then I'll let you guys know how it worked. I bought it for her, but because I've had already, I had had all these mascaras, I didn't want to try another one until I did a video. So I'll just get the feedback from her and let you guys know. I'll probably get one myself too to kind of use it to try it out but I don't know if it's gonna work for me because like I said my lashes are too you know flat so I'll get feedback from her and see how it goes hard candy I like them more for their eyeshadows glitters things but I don't know about their mascaras so we'll see how that goes and then uh, this one like I said it doesn't the, the brush is really good uh, the consistency it just seems like it's about to dry out kind of consistency and so these two are a big no-no for me it didn't work for me I guess like I said it, it kind of would work for girls that have longer lashes so that's all you, you guys I hope this review works for you and if you have any comments or you know just leave a comment down below all right thanks remember to subscribe comment and rate all right bye